Hi and welcome to Sir Christopher Hatton A-Level Art and Design. So what does it entail? Um, A-Level Art, it, the starting point for any project is essentially drawing. We work through drawing and photography as our starting point and then you develop through mixed media and multidisciplinary practice to start developing your A-Level knowledge, skills and understanding. So we can offer students to work in drawing, painting, photography, textiles, wire, clay, plastics, printmaking and mixed media. We'll try and explore all those things and try and work with you in developing your skills, knowledge and understanding. And in year 12, we try and encourage you to try lots of things. And then once you're more confident and you know what you're going to use, you know what you like, then you start to specialise in one of those areas. A, a written element within the course um, for your A-level and we will build you up to make sure that you understand what you need to do for that over the course of year 12. Um, the written element is to support your practical project and is a reflective process so that you're showing that you understand how to reflect on your work, how to your work then links to other artists and art movements. We will work with you with that but you, you do need to be aware there is a written element. To support your learning and your practice, we do um, encourage you to go to visit other places and other trips and research artists firsthand. Um, we are hoping to offer some trips um, and that will be forthcoming as and when you are enrolled on your Year 12 course. In the course of Year 12, Term 1 and 2, we really focus on upskilling you as an, as an artist so that you have a wide range of skills and knowledge to start basing your work after Christmas to make a more personal response to any starting point you are given. Um, so Term 1 and 2 is looking at skills and we're trying to give you, we'll give you a theme that we're going to base that on. This year it's identity, last year it was natural form. Um, and then after Christmas, we'll give you a series of starting points that you can select from. So you start to get a little bit more personal. And then in year th in term three and uh, four and five, so after Easter of year 12, you will start to decide on what you're going to do with your major personal project or major project. And that will take you through to January of year 13. So in year 13, you will start to, you will finish off your major investigation, your major project, your personal investigation that you started in year 12. That project is worth 60% of your grade. So it is a big part of the A-level and it is really, really in, in depth, involved and you will explore a lot of avenues and a lot of different styles of work as well as media. And you will have, ultimately, you will have control over what you do in that project. In, Jan in, in January of year 13, that project will come to an end because in February, your exam paper for the A-level comes out to you. So you will be given seven starting points that you select which one you pr would prefer to study for your exam unit. For your exam unit, you will need to do a sustained project, developing, looking at artists, looking at ideas, looking at starting points, and you will then go into your... Um, supervised time traditionally known as an exam you'll go into that with your coursework with your with your project that you've prepared your sketchbook that you've prepared you will go into that exam into those and it's 15 hours it's three days where you'll produce a final piece based on that body of work that you've had since february to research and that kind of happens at the end of april so you've got a few months to get yourself prepared ready researched and that unit that component two it's called is worth 40% of your grade and your A-level then is done. So it's essentially a practical course. There's no written exam, but you, you do do a practical exam that is worth 40% of your A-level grade. The work is assessed for both your component one, your major project investigation and personal investigation, and your exam unit, component two, they're all assessed in the same way. So you're given a mark for develop, 
refine, observe and pre present for your whole project. And you're given a mark out of 24 for each of those. It's exactly the same with the way that the GCSE is marked. It's just that at A level, it's expected that you work much more in depth and in detail and you really research each of those elements to your maximum ability. Your lessons will be held in one of the A-level uh, art rooms, and they are the two studio rooms that we have here at Sir Christopher Hatton, in B3 or B13. In B13 at the back, around the corner, you've got an A-level area, which is exclusively for A-level, where students can come and use the room, use the resources, and are able to leave their work up in a studio-type environment. Um, and, and we're really, really lucky to have that here at Sir Christopher Hatton, and it's a real asset to the A-level teaching. Hello, um, it will be both me, myself, Miss Davis, and um, Mrs Peel, who will be teaching you um, A-level um, art and design. And um, we are both practicing artists. Um, Miss Peel is a specialist in 3D design, textiles, and also fine art. And myself, I am a specialist in uh, visual communication, illustration, and also a little bit of textiles as well.